Good morning and trashy day like to everyone. Hope you are having an amazing day. This is Jam Young and welcome back to my channel. It's been a month. I haven't made any videos about Tibet on my YouTube channel. It's all because of my pregnant wife and I have to deal lots and lots of stuff in the hospital. And today I'm here at Surpur Monastery, which is 70 kilometers north of Lhasa. And this time I'm going to do a solo trekking from Surpur Monastery to Yangbachan, which is 78 kilometers and going to take four days, you know, and I'm going to do this trekking alone. So it's going to be a really exciting, going to share all my experience of what I see during this trekking. And I wish from bottom of my heart that you will enjoy this trekking vlog with me. Thank you so much. All right. So this is what I'm going to bring with me, my tent, my tripod, a matrix and my drone my camera and i have lots and lots of dry meat with me here with spice on the it looks so delicious and i also brought a jack daniel whiskey so you see so right now i'm here at surpo monastery and gonna do 78 kilometers trekking to Yangbachen hot spring so this is 78 kilometers trekking route and it's one of the most beautiful trekking route that we have in Tibet so I'm gonna do this trekking in four days and the average altitude will be 4,500 meter to 5,300 meter so today I'm gonna camp somewhere near the Surpur monastery and then day two I'm gonna go to Letan and day three I'm gonna go to Parso but between that we have to climb a big pass which is called Lasadla Pass which is 5300 meter and then day 4 Dorjaling to Yangbachan so this is my trekking route which have 78 kilometers all right now let's do the packing everything is ready now and it's about 40 kilo I'm carrying for four days for 78 kilometers and before we start the tracking first I'm gonna show you this holy beautiful Surpo monastery which is really really worthy to be visited and now I'm gonna show you Surpo monastery you yeah, have to cross the small river I can see a Mr. Yak over there. All right. And there we can see the Super Monastery. And I'm gonna try my best to show you how this monastery looks like. It's actually a really, really holy monastery. You see the blue sky, white cloud. Just a little. <laughs> Lots and lots of beautiful statue. And you know, I heard that before 10, 20 years ago, the locals told me that there were like lots and lots of wild yaks protecting the monastery like if the bad people comes to visit the monastery they will immediately stop those people you know like they will just smash the car so that's like kind of pretty interesting like the wild yaks protecting the monastery oh my god you see the beautiful mantras just in front of me so beautiful
up there, I also can see lots and lots of small houses. It must be the meditation cave for high llamas. I would like to fly the drone to show you all the view of the monastery. And you can see so many beautiful, colorful mantras. See the Padmasambhava, the founder of the Red Hat sect in Tibetan Buddhism. So, what do you think about it? Yes, it's a good one. What do you think about it? He just told me that the monastery is still under renovation. Lots and lots of support from government so big and beautiful and the altitude now is 4334 meter come son <laughs> Right, so let's enter Surpo Monastery. Wow, see this big, beautiful Surpo Monastery. And up there you can see lots and lots of trees or the meditation center. I mean, I've been keep hearing that people can meditate here for three years, three months and three days. It's a really, really interesting place. If you have time, please come to visit this place. And you see the flag, that beautiful flag of the Gajuba sect. Hello, which is the way to Yangpachan? <laughs> he wants to play with me. <sighs> Alright, bye bye. I'm gonna leave my bag here. I'm gonna visit the assembly hall. I hope they will let me to take the picture. So that's the Surpo Monastery. So look at this beautiful assembly hall. The monks are making mandala, sand mandala. Here the monks are making the offerings which is made out of butter. See, so pure and beautiful. Wow. I 
on the Jakushal. Okay. And there and here we can visit the golden tomb of great 16 Karmapa. Wow, look at this beautiful chapel. So that's the main assembly hall of Sirpur Monastery. Ah, that was bad. It was closed, but actually it was uh, the chapel that was used by great 17 Karmapa. All right, now let's go and visit other chapels of Sirpur Monastery. So quiet, the monastery. And here, the sign says this way. Wow. Look at this hat. Every pillar has the different head of the different wild animals. See? That's from the deer. That's from the antelope. Aha! That makes sense, you know. Because I just told you that uh, 10 years ago, that they used to have the protectors, the wild yaks, they are protecting the monastery. So it must be the hat from those wild yaks. Look at the paintings. Wow. So relics, look so antiques. So old, so beautiful. And sadly, all the chapels are already closed. Look at this beautiful painting. You can see the skin of the wolves and that must be the snow leopard. Wow. Snow leopard and the wolf skin. Interesting. So you see the size of this wild yak hat. Oh my god. I thought I came here pretty early, but sadly, most of the chapel are closed. Let's go. What is this? Alright, that's the monastery shop and I'm gonna get a drink. That's a really fancy shop. So, what kind of shoes should I put? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? So he is Karmapa, number 17 Karmapa. So he is the leader of Karkupa sect. You can actually also see the eye under his forehead. People also believe that he has three eyes, that he can see everything. So a little. 
So that's all about the Serpa Monastery. And now I'm gonna try to fly the drone to show you how beautiful this monastery is. And I hope that you will like Serpa Monastery. Alright, that was a wonderful flying. I just enjoy the view of the Serpa Monastery so much from the drone. And I'm gonna get some lunch. Just <laughs> delay. It's a cute one. Cute black doggy. How are you? Are you gonna follow me? <laughs> okay. All right, that's the monastery restaurant. Let's go and ask for the food. Hazar kala kardo. Ah, kala kardo. Yeah, do you do chance? Do you do slow? Chang am chik tam zhi slow. Chang am chik tam zhi slow. Do you share? Share, share. How much? So this is how she make the Tibetan noodles. We can see the kitchen. That's a big kitchen. Do you look at the job? Alright, so this is what I ordered for my lunch. Tibetan noodle soup, yak meat, and lots and lots of uh, pickles. And I have a sweet tea. And this one cost 6 yuan. And for the sweet tea, cost 5 yuan. Tibetan chili. And I really, really, really like chili, you know, see? It's so oily. Bon appetit. Guten Appetit. I have to mix everything together. Pickles, yak meat. That was super delicious and I guess this is going to be my last proper restaurant food and this four days trekking. Right. <coughs> the lunch is perfect, delicious. And now it's time to start the trekking. Oh, I just forgot to tell them I already paid the money.
The sun is really, really strong. So from Thurpur Monastery, I'm going to track like four to five kilometers. I'm going to find a good camping spot. And I'm going to have a good rest. <laughs> Come, Sambala. Come, get the shoe, Miva. Yo, yo. Shoe. That's the lady. That's the lady. That was a wonderful old couple. See how they are carrying each other. Wow. That's lots and lots of cow here. Hello. Uh huh. Enjoying the bread. Lots and lots of food. Bye bye. So that's the way for the trekking. All right. Now I'm leaving the Surpur Monastery. Bye bye Surpur Monastery, that was an awesome monastery. That was really really beautiful and authentic monastery. It's the beginning of April and the temperature now in Tibet is like 23 degrees at daytime, which is like really really warm. And I heard that many people are also saying that in the history we never have such a temperature like that in April. So it's a global warming problem. <sighs> wow. Look at those mountains up there, it's beautiful. Look at the mantra that was clapped on the plate. So many of them. I just finished the battery of my tripod and now I'm holding it by my hand. Let me check the altitude. I was climbing like 200 meter and now it's already 4,500 meter. The temperature is already starting to drop. It's already getting cold here. And now I'm gonna find a spot to do my camping. Look, I can see a big yak in front of me. Hello. <whistles> this looks like angry. Bye bye. And now I couldn't see the monastery. Wow, it's a big mastiff dog. I'm so sorry. I just left the body like that. Oh my God, look at this beautiful stupa. This is where I'm going tomorrow inside this valley. Wow. All right, so that's where I'm going to do the camping and I also got a clean water so this is a perfect place for camping tonight
All right, the camping is finished now. And now I'm gonna show you my deluxe room. <laughs> and it's quite small, but it's good for me. <laughs> so this is my five-star hotel. So this is where I'm gonna spend my first night at Surpur Monastery. That's the family. And this is where I'm camping. And the Super Monastery is right over there. Trash the delay! Wow, we have a lots and lots of yaks. <laughs> you see the beautiful baby white yak. <laughs> lots and lots of yaks. Aza, can you want Ah. Ah, that's a big village I just discovered. I can see two lousy dogs. Let me charge. What is it? Just delay. <laughs> he just welcomed me for a tea. Look at his beautiful home. See? And a goat. Blah. 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 Uh-uh. And here for photo of Karmapa. I'll say thank you to the owner of the family, but you know I'm paying like 200 yuan for charging my batteries, which is quite expensive, you know. So 200 for charging batteries in Tibet. <laughs> but anyway, he was offering me a butter tea, so. So you can answer drop butter, eh? Ah, drop butter, eh? 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 Drop just, uh, okay. Ah, ninja. That 
And thank you for his butter tea. If we need the yaks during the trekking, we can hire the yaks from his family because this is the only family that we can see near the camping spot, you know. And thank you for his butter tea. <laughs> Have a baby there. How do you say? I'm not sure. 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 I'm <laughs> that was really, really kind. Oh, yeah, too. That's you. Yeah, it's inside. Huh? Ah. See, a really beautiful, cute yak. The treasure of a Tibet. That must be his mother. Cute. <laughs> sure, sure, touch it. Right, now my battery is full and that was a wonderful family visit, I really enjoyed it and now the sun is going down so Prost! Mm. Prost! Cheers guys! Alright guys, so that's all for the day and it was another wonderful, beautiful, blessing day for me. I really enjoyed it so much and I wish from bottom of my heart that you also enjoyed watching my video. Thank you so much and see you guys tomorrow. This is Jim Yang, welcome to Tibet. We are the one that can show you original Tibet.